Hi, everybody. I'm dropping my normal show introduction for today because I woke up to the very sad news that the legendary heavy metal and hard rock producer Martin Birch has sadly passed. Martin Birch is my all-time favorite heavy metal producer, and Martin has been involved in some of the most classic albums in heavy metal and hard rock. His production style always brought out the best in all the bands that he worked with. He always had a nice, clean, upfront style of production that focused on the energy and the live feel of the bands that he worked with. In my opinion, he's caught some of the best rhythm section and specifically bass sounds ever put on tape in heavy metal. And with the tragic news of his passing, I wanted to do a quick tribute video to Martin and some of the absolutely amazing albums that he's been involved in. Martin has been involved in tons and tons of great albums and if you're a heavy metal fan you've certainly heard um, more than one of the albums that he's worked on. He worked on the Fleetwood Mac album uh, Mystery to Me. Sorry there's a glare there. This was before Fleetwood Mac really became sort of the radio Fleetwood Mac that we know them for today. And that album really catches the, uh, Martin caught the, the great sound of where they were at at that time. One of the bands early on that Martin was most famous for working with was Deep Purple. And he worked on everything from the Concerto album, Deep Purple and Rock, one of the greatest hard rock albums of all time, Deep Purple, Machine Head. And he would work with Deep Purple all the way up to and including Come Taste the Band. Uh, Deep Purple, Machine Head is a fantastic sounding record. Uh, probably captured Deep Purple at their best. Martin brought out the best in Deep Purple here in my opinion. It has a live feel but lots of energy to this record. One of the greatest hard rock heavy metal albums of all time, Rainbow Rising. He worked with Rainbow through the Dio years and this is an absolutely legendary album. Catches the band just on fire. One of Ronnie James Dio's greatest performances. The song Stargazer, just absolutely amazing in the production on this. It's just incredible, Stargazer uh, being a highlight of this record, but the whole record and, and all the early Rainbow records that Martin worked on with Ronnie James Dio sound amazing. He worked with Blue Oyster Colts on the Fire of Unknown Origin and Cultosaurus Erectus. These are, in my opinion, two of the sonically best sounding Blue Oyster Cult albums. Again, Martin had a knack for uh, when he had a reputation for when you needed a great sounding hard rock or metal album. Uh, Martin was the best and he was the best from when he started till when he retired. And these two albums sound great. The bass and rhythm section on these records sound great. They just, Martin had a way of, of getting a, it wasn't an overly hi-fi production, but it was always clean, very punchy, uh, really all the instruments present, just absolutely great. And then he worked with Black Sabbath, when Ozzy had left the band, Ronnie James Dio comes in and Martin is involved with the absolute classics, Heaven and Hell, 
and the mob rules. I mentioned earlier about Martin's, uh, every instrument always sounded great in a Martin Birch mix. And especially on these, the bass guitar is just so present. The rhythm section in general, mob rules, Vinnie Apice's drums are just so powerful. The guitar sounds so great. Really, Martin had a big hand in bringing Black Sabbath into the 1980s to absolutely legendary albums in heavy metal. He worked with Michael Schenker for the Assault Attack album, Graham Bonnet, maybe my favorite Michael Schenker album. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Michael's guitars are just great. Michael was losing a little focus at this point. Martin takes him in and, and pulls it all together to pull off this amazing album. Desert Song, one of my all-time favorite songs. But it's certainly one of my favorite Michael Schenker songs. He produced White Snake's Slide It In record. A fantastic hard rock album, tons of punch to this record. Just sounds absolutely great. Martin Martin does a killer job on this record. The guitars sound fantastic on this. And then Martin in uh, the world of heavy metal would probably go on to be close out his career and, and be known most for his working with an association with. Iron Maiden. He started on the Killers record and went all the way up to and including Fear of the Dark. This is my favorite Iron Maiden record, Peace of Mind. And you could almost say that Martin is responsible in a lot of ways for creating the sound of Iron Maiden. What he did from Killers on through those classic 80s albums is just some of the best heavy metal production out there and he caught the essence of what Iron Maiden was all about and was able to uh, put that on tape and bring that out and he would have a close association with Iron Maiden being very important in in their career really. So as you can see here uh, Martin was just involved in so many great classic heavy metal and hard rock albums and his in a lot of ways his work is the soundtrack to to my youth and to my heavy metal uh, years if you will because some of these albums that i've shown you are my all-time favorite uh, metal and hard rock albums uh, so martin it's a, it's a sad day to hear of his passing he was an absolute legend in the world of uh, rock and metal production. So thank you, Martin, for all the fantastic albums, for being able to capture the magic and put it on tape, for being able to bring out the best in all the bands that you've worked with. Rest in peace, Martin Birch.